Here, watch when the semi comes. Do you ever just want to go on a big adventure that you will remember forever? I sure do. But usually that means planning a big trip, spending a ton of money on flights, spending more money on stay, and food and attractions. That's a big deal. So that got me thinking. What if I could just grab my backpack, get all ready, and have an adventure by walking out my bedroom door? So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to travel from the small little Saskatchewan town I live in, but I'm not going to drive, bike, or hike. I'm going to unicycle 110 kilometers to the city. Okay, so first I got to see how long this is actually going to take me and how fast I can ride on my unicycle. Okay, so here it is. This is it. I'm going to mark it on my GPS here and see how fast I can go or just an average pace that I'll be going. It's gonna take me a solid 10 hours, I think. Okay, so now I gotta fit all of this into that bag, right there. Good morning, world. I just got up, today is the day. It's seven o'clock and I'm just getting ready to leave. Here we go. Here we go. back. Okay. I'm ready to go. Have a good adventure. Thanks, Dad. Here it is, right on my back door, literally. And I'm off. It's the first little bit of riding here. Look at Marty by two slews. Woo! <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a good trip. It is a scorcher. It's supposed to get to like 31 today. Beautiful day for riding. But uh, it's definitely gonna be hot. I am so glad to have this hat. This is my grandpa's hat that he would take on his adventures from Australia. I made it to this bridge. I think it's called Totsky Bridge. Never been here though. And uh, it's just an old abandoned bridge. It's pretty darn cool. There's the bridge. When riding, you kind of have to take a lot of breaks because, oh, your crotch gets so sore. Now that I actually am hitting like turns and stuff, I have to figure out where I'm going. Don't want to take a wrong turn and then be going on the road for a long time. Take forever to get back. I gotta turn here. We've gone about 20k. I've been going for about three hours. It's taking longer than I thought, but it's nice. I've been going slower and more enjoyable. But whew! I've got about almost 100k left to go. I'm gonna break for lunch pretty soon here. I gotta get all the way down there. It's as far as I can see, but I gotta get there on this thing. Keep going. The road closed, local traffic only, but uh, I think I might try it. This would be why the road was closed, I guess. So I can either go around it, or uh, I think I'm gonna try and go through it. Got my shoes strapped there. Yeah, I'm gonna get across. 
some pelicans here. I made it! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's some gross parts, but uh, I made it through. Okay, so I uh, finished lunch. It wasn't a huge lunch, but it was decent. I'm good. Had some water. I realized how quickly I ran out of my water. Well, I'm not out, but I only got one bottle left. I'm almost 30K. I have a problem. I'm pretty much in the middle of nowhere here, and uh, I ran out of water already. I've been riding for at least about solid six hours. Oh, I'm getting tired. My legs are sore. I'm almost, I'm almost at about 40K. My goal is to get to about 60K today, so that's quite a ways away. I gotta get some water somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can find find a farm town or something, and then just ask them if they can fill up my bottles. But I gotta keep going. Oh, this is where it gets tough, but uh, yeah, this is part of the trip. Okay, let's go. I came up to this town here, or not town, it's a farm, but it says new trespassing. I think I'm still gonna go because I need to see if I can, I need to see if I can get some water. Okay, I was gonna try and get water there, but that was just way too sketchy. I went in, it just did not look like a very welcoming place, let's just say that. So I just left, and I'm glad they didn't have a dog. That's what I'm afraid of. Going into farmhouses, and I just have a dog attack you or something. Anyways, I'm just gonna try a new place, see if I can find a new farmyard. I'm gonna try this place. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna have to move on. Nobody's home, but they had a sprinkler going, so I wet myself. I'm gonna try this place here. That guy just drove right by me, and I'm in his yard. Hello, I'm going, I'm traveling out to Saskatoon on my unicycle here. From where? I was wondering if you could fill up my water bottles. Yeah? You'd be able to? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I have to grab my phone and take a picture of you. As I was walking out of their driveway, I was in there and then they drove up. They filled up all my water bottles and gave me two extras. Woo! So I'm good for a, a good long while, but now my pack is so heavy. Considerably, well, a lot, a lot more. But uh, yeah, I'm at 42K, so that's a marathon if I was running a marathon or something. Just crazy, it's taken me a long time. It's been like seven hours just to do a marathon. It's not, that's not the greatest for time, but oh well. I'm gonna keep pushing and uh, see how far I make it today. I was scared, I got out of my comfort zone, went and talked to them. I knew it would all be fine, but it's still, it's scary, you don't know. And they had a dog. They had a dog. I found a random tree. Look at how awesome that thing is. I love random trees. It's just in the middle of nowhere. See, there's no trees around. This guy. I made it to kilometer 58. 58 kilometers in a day so far. Woo! I'm so pumped to just set up tent and just rest. I'm just taking a little break by the highway. It's getting tough. I've gone 63K now, so I gotta keep going. So I've been still riding, 65K. Been riding all day, trying to get to a little town. Still quite a ways away. Okay, I'm gonna set up camp. Oh, yeah. 70K in one day. So now it's supper time. Guess what I got for supper? I got a can of beans. Okay, so let's open this up. Look at that. And I got a little bit of bread here. Oh my gosh, that is good. Oh. Okay, so it's time for bed. Oh, that can of beans though, best can of beans I have ever had. Yeah, it's just a nice night in the tent here. I had a 70 kilometer day today, so my legs are done. So when I went and sat in the grass, I like had a little resting time. There's a ton of ticks. I was just flicking ticks off. If you don't know what ticks are, like little bugs that suck your blood. They're kind of gross. They look like a spider. But yeah, there's so many, and I thought I had them all off. 
when I went, I did a check tech tonight, and I had one just crawling on me, and then two were already latched on, on my knees, which is kind of a random spot. So I had to like rip them off. Yeah, Ugh. I'm ready to get some Z's, have good sleep, and uh, leave in the morning. Good night. Oh, I should never have camped here. Good morning. Okay, so it's time to get ready for another day of riding. 40K to go. For breakfast, I've got a couple packs of oats I just poured in this. Uh, and then for food, all I have left is a granola bar and some trail mix. But I actually brought some coffee, so I'm gonna see if I can make some coffee. It won't be hot, but it, it'll be coffee. Yeah, it's actually great. It's just cold, but it's it's like an iced coffee. I feel like today is going to be a much harder day for riding because it's getting windier and windier. Okay, let's pack up. Okay, I'm just about ready. Time to go. I'm back on the road, but my crotch hurts even more today. It's like bruises. <sighs> There's some major wins today. Okay, I've been just taking a little rest here by uh, this side of the road. I've had a solid couple hours of riding so far. Pretty good, it's been loud on the highway. But uh, pretty soon I'm gonna be getting onto a gravel road and then right to Saskatoon. Okay, let's get back on the road. Here, watch when the semi comes. <laughs> Look, I found a license plate, so I strapped it on the back of my <laughs> Saskatchewan. Okay, let's go. So it started raining and it's getting pretty windy so I put a cover on my backpack and uh, put my rain jacket on. Whew. Definitely not like yesterday for weather wise at least. It's a nice change though I guess. Hello Mr. Cow. Don't run away, come back. Okay, bye. This wind is crazy. Whoo! I've still got at least 10K left. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm completely out of water, completely out of food. It's just nothing. At least my pack's way lighter though. Like you can actually feel it quite a bit with no water, no food. So that's a nice feeling. Guys, I finally turned off that road and I'm getting so much closer. Like, it's right over there. Straight down this road. Woo! I've almost made it! Guys, I made it! I did it! I'm here! Wow, what an incredible feeling. This has been an amazing... This was an awesome journey. And it's amazing what you can learn about yourself, the world, and God, when you just get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself like this. Okay, now I'm gonna go get some food or something. Thanks so much for coming along. Wow. This trip got me to live 100% in the moment. I had to take everything one pedal at a time. It was such a great feeling. There was so much time to just think, pray, and just soak in God's creation. There were many tough times, but that's what made it so good. I will never forget this trip. And it was free. I can honestly say, I really did have a great adventure. Right outside my back door.
is. I'm literally riding through houses right now. Oh my gosh.